In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass, the great act of giving thanks to God for all that he gives to us. As you can see from the colour of my vestments, we're once more in ordinary time. I personally like ordinary time. Some people in our church are called to do great things. The majority of us are called to do the ordinary things, the simple things well. As we begin our Mass, let us be mindful of our need of God, our need of God's forgiveness and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. And now we sing the praises of God as we say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people, and bestow your peace on our times. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. Samuel was lying in the sanctuary of the Lord, where the ark of God was. When the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel, he answered, here I am. Then he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, since you called me. Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. Once again the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, since you called me. He replied, I did not call you my son, go back and lie down. Samuel had yet no knowledge of the Lord, but the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. Once again the Lord called a third time. He got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am since you called me. Eli then understood that it was the Lord who was calling the boy. And he said to Samuel, Go and lie down. And if someone calls, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord then came and stood by, calling as he had done before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Samuel grew up and the Lord was with him, and let no word of his fall to the ground. The Word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the response is, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I waited, I waited for the Lord, 
and he stooped down to me to hear my cry. He put a new song into my mouth, praise of our God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here I am. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not seen. You know it, O oh Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Alleluia, Alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. As John stood with two of his disciples, Jesus passed, and John stared hard at him. Look, there is the Lamb of God. Hearing this, the two disciples followed Jesus. Jesus turned round, saw them following, and said, What do you want? They answered, Rabbi, which means teacher, where do you live? Come and see, he replied. So they went and saw where he lived, and stayed with him the rest of that day. It was about the tenth hour. One of these two who became followers of Jesus after hearing what John had said was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. Early next morning, Andrew met his brother and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means the Christ. And he took Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked hard at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, meaning rock. The Gospel of the Lord. In the first reading that we heard, we heard the well-known calling of Samuel. Most of us have heard that reading before. We hear three times Samuel in the middle of the night getting called, him getting up and saying to Eli, what do you want? You call me. And Eli tells him to go back and lie down. Until Eli re is revealed to him that it's God who is calling Samuel. And he gives him that great prayer, okay, great prayer, just to say, speak Lord, your servant is listening. And I think this reading tells us something about God. But it also tells us something about us. Firstly, it tells us that God is persistent in his call. He keeps making the call to us, even when we're unsure what that call is. God is persistent. It also reminds us that we need other people, just like Samuel needed Eli. We need other people to help us discern what God is asking of us as individuals and as a community. We need each other. We can't just act in isolation or there's a really good chance that we might get the message wrong. But the reading today also tells us that like Samuel, we need to have an open heart. We need to be ready to respond to God's call, no matter where that call might take us. The well-known calling of Samuel. And that I took great comfort from the Gospel this morning, because the Gospel reminds us that our church and our faith is built on rock. And the world today 
and for me certainly feels unsteady. Things are not the same. We're living through this eternal crisis. And I needed to hear that we are built on rock, built on Cephas. We continue to trust, we continue to hope, but like Samuel, we also continue to listen to the voice of God, calling us and reminding us that the hand of God is with us. In union with the Church throughout the whole world, we profess the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. We place before our God all our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Malcolm, and for all who are called to positions of leadership in our church. May they be blessed, and may they always lead us into the truth of the Gospel. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for world leaders and governments, that they may seek peace, reconciliation, and give hope to the people they serve. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for our parish of St. Wilfred, that we may be a beacon of hope. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the sick, for those who are filled with anxiety, those suffering with depression or addiction. That our prayer may raise them up. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time, that they may see God face to face. Lord, in your mercy, And in a moment, let us bring those prayers that lie in our hearts before the living God. And as ever, we turn to the Queen of Heaven and ask for her intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty God, hear and answer our prayers, which we make in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. With all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Wilfred and all the saints 
who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the same his command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God, this is Jesus, who takes away the sins of all the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God come down to bless and protect you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thank you for coming.